Namaste. This is Len Davis, and I am a Seattle-based filmmaker, and I am a close friend of your teacher, Mr. Gundel. And I am making this video so that you, Ballard High School science students, have a sense of what students learning science in another part of the world looks like, okay? So I'm up here in the village of Malamchigao in the Himalayas. I mean, the Himalayas are the mountains, so these are the foothills, but we're at about 8,500 feet. Check it out. This is what this school looks like. This is actually a government school. It's a public school. But it's an incredibly successful public school in which they've been able to attain the standards of a private school, which is very impressive. So there's about 250 students at this school. And it's perched right here above this village. So from the younger grades and the much smaller children to the older grades. But this is a school that's taught in English. So it says English speaking zone. Yeah. And this is one of the teachers. Can I see the sign? Yeah. Welcome to the uh, Science Exhibition. Science Exhibition, January 3rd, 2014, at the Sri Malamchigao Secondary School. Yeah. And you are one of the science teachers? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a science teacher here. I did right. science. I'm something personal. Nice. Can I have that? Nick Tin? Okay. This Sorry. This one goes out to the Ballard High School science students. And this is my old friend Pernadai, who is the headmaster of this school. So I'm making a video for these American high school science teach students. Okay? Tiksa. Namaste. So. There's a variety of science experiments going on here. You've got yes. electrolysis from the Rancho group. You've got... <laughs> crystallization with the galaxy group, yes. hydrogen gas. And then you have all these students who are showing what they're doing. What are you doing here? It is crystallization process. Crystallization process? Yeah. Okay. Nice. And what's going on here? Nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas? Yes. What about nitrogen gas are you showing? Uh, by heating. Production of nitrogen gas. Production of nitrogen, okay. Please, please be in line, please, please, please. Walk in line, please. Don't be hurry. What's happening here? We are preparing electrolysis of water. Say it again. Electrolysis of water. Electro erect electrolysis. Oh, electrolysis. Okay. These are the teachers quizzing the students on what they've produced here. What's happening here? Collecting ammonia gas. Okay. It's in buttons. What's happening here? It's, we are preparing the hydrogen gas here. Okay. Why? Uh, because we have science exhibition today. Okay. For the science exhibition. Yeah. Nice. Sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid, okay. So I am making this video for science students in America where my friend is the teacher. Do you have a message you want to share with them? Yeah. Uh, science is not so uh, easy, so please lo learn nicely and have a good in science. Good. You got that? Science is not so easy, so learn nicely and have a good science. Remember that. When Mr. G says, everybody shut up and learn, remember this.
सबाई नमस्ते बंदी न्यूज़ ना साथी हर विलाय Where are we? Where is your school? What is this place name? Malamchi. All right. So, what's unique about this school? I was telling you, this is a government school. And what's unique about this school? Not only the success that they've had in being like a high mountain village school, is that when they create a good school like this here, it means that the students from these villages don't have to go all the way to the city to be able to get a quality education. And this is one of the few government schools in which all the subjects are being taught in English. And you can ask your teacher why would that be at all that this you know remote village they'd be learning English. That's a whole different thing. But at this school, over the years, I've been here coming here almost 20 years, and I've seen it grow and grow. And they are graduating students who are you know scoring high on the tests that compare to much more urban villages and, and you know city students, which is impressive. So. You can go there and see how Victor, you Victor, come on, I have time. Oh, yeah, yeah, little leaks. But it's a nice model. Yeah, nice model. It's a very it's nice can, model. Can hit. What are they showing here, Dai? Uh, it is a solar water heater. Okay. And this is the same kind that you have in your house? Yes, same kind. Nice. But materials is different here. Nice. <laughs> the materials and the material. scale also. Yeah. 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 It's a local. Nice. So this is a demonstration of a solar water heater that someone could have in their home. Hey boys. Yeah, this this uh, this is hydraulic crane. A hydraulic crane? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So when he squeezes the little, what happens when you pump that? Oh yeah. Let me get my own. It works. My... Start to work. Don't, don't put your shadow on there though. Nice. <laughs> Awesome. Hey, nice. So that he's operating these little yeah. <laughs> hydraulics and moving the crane. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, sweet. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. So I just, you know, when I am traveling as an American and I'm coming to remote places like this, it, you know, the joy in this is largely understanding how other people are living in the world. And I wanted to make this video because. Mr. Gundel, your teacher is an old school brother of mine, and I like to keep it super fresh and full of joy. And being up here and seeing the science exhibition, I thought would be a nice opportunity to give you, American high school students in Ballard in Seattle, a sense of what learning looks like in different parts of the world. And how in a village with so many fewer resources than we have, they're busting out this amazing stuff. So, I'm Len Davis, I'm a filmmaker from Seattle, Washington, Mr. G, your teacher, is an old friend of mine and it is with joy that I make this video to give you all a sense of what science and other students learning in other parts of the world looks like. Stay fresh.